Hey everyone, so I created this playlist about the nested sets tree model. I will put a link in the description for it. In the first video, we showed I showed you a general introduction about the whole topic. And in the next video, or in the second video, I showed you how we create a stored procedure called add node or add child. Well, by using it, we can create a dynamically nested sets tree structure in our database. Um, so yeah, if you want that, you should check them out. And in this video, I will check one way to, or I will check a way to cut off a branch. In the next video, I will show you how we can do something like cutting off or deleting a node and lifting one of its children up. So it becomes the new parent. And in this video, if I have, if I have this tree, I want to delete this node. The way I will do it, I will just delete all of these. So I'm cutting off branches. This is what we are going to do in this video. And I wrote the rules here. This is the code that does it in SQL and Postgres. But let's start by doing or checking out the rules. So first thing, we're going to create a stored procedure, procedure that accepts the node ID. And I'm using procedure, not a function, because in a procedure, I can have transactions and functions I can't. Uh, so that's, so you pass to it the node ID and we find the left and right values of that node. So I'm gonna just put it here. So two and nine are the left and right values. Now, we create a variable that is equal to the right minus left plus one of the node you are going to delete. So this should be nine plus two, uh, min, nine minus two, which is seven plus one, which is eight, I will put it here. And this value, it will sound like uh, like a magic number. I don't know. It's just a value that exists in the algorithm to help us balance the left and right values after we delete the node and its descendant because we need to fix the left and right values. And this is the end result we are going to have. Uh, but why this value works or how the authors of, or the author of the algorithm ended up with this value. I have no idea, to be honest. I don't think I'm smart enough to understand. Pretty sure there is some kind of mathematical proof of why this value works. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe philosophical proof. I don't know. But there is a book. I'm pretty sure it's explained here. It's this book. I will put a link in the description. There is also a very nice video from Phil where he goes over at least in the second half of the video over this nested nested tree or nested sets tree model but he also does not explain this variable or how they ended up with it but it's part of the algorithm and i just want to make that clear so this value or this variable is called width it's equals to the nodes right value minus the left value plus one which is now in our case is eight Okay, so we got that. Now let's delete or let's cut off the whole branch. This should be super easy because if you watch my first video, in each node in the tree, the left value should be less than all of its descendants regardless of the depth and the right value should be bigger of all of its descendants regardless of the depth. And now this means if I want to delete this node, I'll just write a simple SQL query saying delete all of the nodes where left is between this node's left and right. And that's it. And this, it will look, it will look like this in Postgres. Let me increase the font and show you. Yeah, delete from nodes where left between node left and node right, which is the node I'm going to delete. And the tree ID equal to tree ID. And I will explain the SQL completely in a minute. But this tree ID is because I'm storing all of the trees in the same table. And to distinguish which node belongs to which tree, all of them, all of the nodes that in the same tree share the same tree ID. So if I am storing these two trees, this one with this color, the greenish color, or and this one with the purple color, um, all of these nodes share the same tree ID and all of these nodes nodes share a different tree ID. I think that's that's a simple idea. But now this should be super easy to delete. Just you just write this simple uh, SQL query and you filter by the between clause and this should delete all of these. 
and I'm going to mark them with this color, which mean, or this color, and have a stroke, which means they are deleted. So delete, deletion is super easy, but now the thing is, we need to fix these left and right values because now they are not following the rules of the nested sets model. To do this, we go to the last two steps in our algorithm. Update the right values in the tree to be right minus width where their right is bigger than the nodes you deleted right. So the nodes I deleted, the node I deleted right is nine. Just go search the tree where the right values are bigger than nine and update them to be their right minus width. So the 14 is bigger than nine and 14 minus 8 is 6. Now 13 is bigger than 9. 30 minus the width I created, which is 5. 12 minus 8, which is 4. Now to fix the left values, we go to the last point. Update the left values in the tree to be equal left minus width. And be careful here, where their left value is bigger than the nodes right. So in both in both the steps, we are using the right node value that deleted. So the right value is 9. Let's go search all of the tree where the left value is bigger than the right value, which is, the, which is 9. So 10 is bigger. So 10 minus the width, which is 2. The width is 8, and the result is 2. And now 11 minus 8 is 3. And now we ended up with a similar tree with similar left and right values and this is how we cut off branches and to show you another example but i won't do the whole thing just to i'll show you just a way or sorry i will show you how deleting a branch actually work or how i will just prove to you that it works because it sounds super simple and it, it is actually um so this is the query and just like i said if you look at any node the left value of it is less than all of the its descendant left value regardless of the depth which is true in this case we built this tree from scratch in the first video and there's a link in the description for it of course and the right value is bigger of bigger is bigger from each right value on all of its descendant regardless of the depth this is why the delete query works so that's basically the idea um i think it's fairly simple and i highly recommend that you watch this video um it's good so yeah let's go and copy this go to db ever uh, i really i already was testing stuff because i prepared a uh, very nice example for us it's the same example i'm going to run it so it's now there. I'm going to delete the previous nodes table. And I wrote some, I wrote the code that will actually create the same tree we got, but I won't waste your time just show, like showing you everything. So first thing is create the table. And I already wrote all of this SQL in the previous two videos. And we have, we wrote this insert root tree as well, which creates our root node and generates a random ID that is unique. Unique? Yeah, like it won't be generated again uh, for, for a different tree. Uh, I went over that in the second video. So I'm going now to add two child nodes, which is these two. Now I'm going to add uh, this node, which is this one. So I'm using the IDs. I'm going to add three nodes, which is these two, which is these three, uh, and then this node. Now I'm going. Now this is the tree we have, we got, and as you can see in the root, we have left as one and right as fourteen, and the node I'm going to delete, the left of it is two and the right of it is nine, which is B, which is in our case was this one, and it's represented by this node here. Or by this row and the id of it is three the way you delete it you just give it cut off a call cut off branch id three uh, 
Oh, okay, and I have a mistake. It's saying the tree ID is ambiguous. Mm. I mean, I won't waste time here. I will fix the code and push it to the repository. But for now, I will remove these tree ID filters. But when you check the code in the repository, it should should be working fine. Uh, so I'll just do this for now. Because we only have one tree now. It's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Oops. I remember I fixed it. Okay, now it cut off. So if you go back, we refresh. We should see that the parent is 1, 6. Uh, now we get 2, 5, then 3, 4, which is the same thing we got here. Um, so yeah, that's how you cut off branches. There is a link to the code. I will fix the tree ID ambiguous error. And yeah, the code should be ready to use. You can just ship it. Yeah, I hope this was useful and ciao.